Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this beautiful 2018 Volvo V90. This one is a T5 front wheel drive R design. As you can see, it's finished off in an onyx black metallic exterior, which is a beautiful color on the car. Outside, it does have your set and silver trim around the windows. You do have your roof rails up top, with your panoramic roof, as well as your satellite radio antenna right there. Your silver mirror caps, as well as your LED turn signal indicators. You do have body colored door handles with intelligent entry built in. Up front on the V90, this one does have your LED active bending headlights, your Thor's hammer LED daytime running lights. Around back, your V90, and then your T5. R design and Polestar badges. This one does have the Polestar tune from the factory. Rear parking sensors, dual exhaust down below, and a rear backup camera, as well as your metal trim on the bumper. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. Just make sure it's unlocked, come up, press to release. It is a capless filler system as well, and since this one is Polestar tuned, it does require premium fuel. Down below, this one is riding on Pirelli Cinturado P7 tires, which are in fantastic shape, obviously, with this being a new car. They are 225 55R20s, so it does have 20 inch alloy wheels, and these are the R Design specific wheels. Rear disc brakes. Coming to the window sticker, you can see V90 T5 front wheel drive R Design. All of your standard features and everything along there you can pause and read. Then over here, this one does have the convenience package, which gives you the heated washer nozzles, 360 camera, a garage home link, compass built into the rear view mirror, park assist, heated front seats and heated steering wheel, metallic paint, the bumper cover, your integrated in pipes on the back, protection package, Polestar, which obviously is a huge upgrade on these, the wheel locks, power operated load cover, child seat, as well as the 20 inch R design wheels, the charcoal leather for a total price brand new of about $58,000. This one, you can also see your fuel economy up there. As I said up front, LED headlights, you have your headlight washers up front too, and the front camera on the vehicle. Also, you can see the R design specific grill. On the key itself, as you can see, you do have your panic button on this side, lock, unlock, and power trunk release. The power trunk as well on this one does have your kick to open feature, where you can just walk up. Very, very cool. Go ahead and close that. You can see the LED plate lights from the factory as well. Go ahead and get in this one. As I said, intelligent entry, have the key fob with you, come up, grab to open. And inside you can see this one does have the R Design Black full leather interior, which is in great shape. And these are such beautiful seats. You have the perforated leather, the white stitching, and the white piping, as well as your thigh extension up front. R Design door sills, the R Design specific floor mats, and your aluminum pedals. To start, foot on the brake, and turn right here. Close the door, and just have the key fob inside of the vehicle, and you're good to go. And I do apologize about the AC noise, but today's a little bit of a rough day to be out filming, so that's just going to be in the background. But inside, this one does have the R-Design specific leather wrap stream wheel, perforated leather around here, and then the white inside stitching. Nice and tight power steering. Paddle shifters on the back of the wheel for the eight speed automatic this one is equipped with. Drive, manual mode. The reverse does have a rear backup camera. As well as since this one has the convenience package, you do get the 360 degree camera. Park, and you can see too, your white contrast stitching on the shift boot matches everything around here. On the door, all padded material up top, aluminum trim, and then your padded stitched leather perforated leather on the door, metal speaker grills, your power seat memory, power locks, all of your power windows are automatic, and then power mirrors. Storage down below, as well as your headlight controls, 
trunk release and storage right here. Dashboard is all soft touch, high quality material. It feels and looks great up top. You can see the rain sensor in the middle for your rain sensing wipers. So as you do have your controls right here, press that and it will turn the rain sensing wipers on. Gauges in the middle, your tachometer, speedometer, and then the center display. Which that display, you can bring up all kinds of things. Uh, the navigation is showing on it at the moment. Outside temperature clock and everything else up top will show there different warnings. This one does have pilot assist, your adaptive cruise control and all of that. Audio system controls and everything else on the wheel. In the middle is your census display, standard in pretty much all of the new Volvos. Um, on here, this display is all of your different vehicle functions, your ESC sport mode, lane keep, parking assist, cross traffic, auto start stop on and off, bliss, camera. This button, press it. Drops both your rear headrest for visibility. Park in, park out, all of that. Pulls your road sign information, active bending headlights, um, corner illumination. On this display, you have your navigation, audio system, which this one does have satellite radio. So the audio system sounds fantastic. Your Bluetooth phone, everything else will show right there. AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, as I said. Different messages, car, um, car status, driver performance, your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Volvo ID. Down below is your climate control. You can control the fan speed, different zones, everything else. Your main climate, as well as rear climate, you can control from up front, and parking climate. But everything right there, this is how you adjust the temperature. And then you have heated seats, as well as a heated steering wheel for the driver. Below, hazard controls, defrost, your volume in the middle, and everything else. As I keep saying, the stitched leather around all of this. And then in the R design, you get the beautiful aluminum trim. Storage inside of here, 12 volt outlet, two cup holders. Right here, you can place the key. The vehicle will know the key is in it if it's right here. And while it won't charge the key, it will keep it from discharging any further. Storage up front. You have, as I showed, your start stop button. Drive mode selector right here. You can go between eco, comfort, and dynamic. Parking brake, which is electronic, and then your auto brake hold. Storage inside of here, two USB ports. The one lined in white is the one you use for CarPlay or Android Auto. The seats are very, very comfortable, high quality leather. I mean, in the R design too, these bolsters are amazing. They hold you in so well. Up top in the R design, you do get the charcoal headliner, which looks great. I think it really cleans up the look of the interior. Your IntelliSafe system in the middle, as well as your auto dimming review mirror, compass built in up there, SOS Volvo on call. Push that and it will send the shade to your panoramic roof all the way back. So as your interior lighting. You can see that beautiful panoramic roof. I mean this interior is just an amazing place to be and the R design is such a unique model. Step out, pop the hood, and unlock all the doors. I mean, if you ask me, I think this is just one of the best looking cars on the market today. Inside of the rear seat, you can see the amazing amount of room you get in the V90. This one does have your child booster seats in the second row, which is very cool. Up top, this will fold the seat down. You can see the amount of room that will give you. It's also a flat loading floor. Stepping in. You have a great amount of space back here. I'm 6'2", I can comfortably sit behind myself. All the aluminum trim, leather, everything like that follows from the door. Typical Volvo fashion, you have your rear air vents built into the pillars. So this one does have your rear climate controls right here. Control the fan speed, different zones, you can control the temperature, this dual zone. 12 volt outlet, and then your two air vents of course. Seats back here are the same leather as up front. They're so high quality and so comfortable booster seat on that side and the headrests do just pop up like that armrests in the middle two cup holders and you have storage storage inside of there and this will fold down and act as a ski pass through 
you can just see the leather and the stitching, the piping. Looks so good inside of this car. And that beautiful moonroof as well. One of my favorite design touches. And on the side, LED illumination and your handles. Inside the trunk opens up just like that. As I showed, it is power. You have your cargo cover right here. It's just fit into these tracks on the side and you can raise and lower it. Also do have storage. As you can see, plenty of space. One of the advantages of buying a wagon. And from right here, you can drop the rear seat down just by the press of a button. That'll give you an idea of space with the seat down versus with the seat up. Right here, your all weather floor mats for the rear seat as well as both of your carpeted floor mats. This one does have the all-weather trunk liner. Below that, you do have a cargo divider. And then below all of that, this will lift up and has a gas shock to hold it up. And underneath of there is your spare tire, wheel lock key, and everything else. 12 volt outlet on the side and illumination, of course. And up here, you can press this button and it will close the trunk, or this button, say you've got everything you need out of the trunk, you're going where you need to go. You can press that and it will close the trunk and lock the vehicle. When you close the trunk, the cargo liner will get back into place. And then when you open it, when it's on the tracks, you can see it will move up and out of the way. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Seat's nice and easy to bring back up. See, I can do it with one hand still holding the camera. Up front, power passenger seat, as you would expect. And over here, you do get a storage pocket. Pulls it inside of the glove box. This one does include your Polestar kit. This is just a little uh, box that they give you when you do have the Polestar tune. It includes some documentation and things like that. Inside of here, you have your state inspection certificate, the key box kit, and then the cleaning cloth for the display. This one also does have all the owner's literature and everything else. We just don't keep them inside of the new cars until they sell. And up front, you can see the daytime running lights are on, the beautiful Thor's hammer design. And under the hood, this one does have Volvo's 2-liter turbo four-cylinder. So this is the standard engine across the board in all the new cars. But since this one does have the Polestar tune, you get a nice little bump in power, as well as a noticeable difference in uh, the throttle tuning, as well as the transmission tuning. Is that bring the automatic driver's side window back up cut it off right here move the key and as always this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond Virginia if you aren't interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.